Welcome back to Bonapapa. Today I'm happy to cook with you a quinoa zucchini chickpea salad. This is a recipe that can be prepared one day in advance and can be enjoyed the following day. Zucchini are definitely a summer vegetables and sometimes if you have a vegetable garden you end up loaded with zucchini during the summer. So this is a nice idea to cook the zucchini and use them in a different way in a salad. I added chickpeas to the recipe because I wanted to give extra protein content to the recipe but also because uh, I needed them to keep the quinoa grains together for less mess. Let's start together this lovely recipe. First thing to do we are going to prepare our zucchini. We are going to trim the zucchini ends and slice them length side. Season every slide of zucchini with a mix of extra virgin oil of oil, dried oregano and a pinch of salt. Of course, if you're cooking for babies under 12 months, skip the salt. Using a grill, grill the zucchini for three minutes for each side. It's very simple. Place the zucchini, set the timer, come back after three minutes, flip them on the other side so that the nice marks will be left and keep cooking for another three minutes. That's it. And then keep going up until you will finish the zucchini. Slice the grilled zucchini in tiny, tiny pieces. In a cup, mesh the chickpeas into a chunky consistency. In this way, the chickpeas will be safer to eat for your little ones, so no choking hazard because they are mashed, and they will keep the quinoa grain together like a glue so that it will be less messy to eat. Chop the tomatoes in small pieces and cut the mozzarella in small cubes. In a bowl, combine the cooked quinoa the grilled zucchini, the tomatoes, the chickpeas, the mozzarella and the basil pesto. Combine everything together and enjoy. At this point you can serve the quinoa salad like it is or you can store it in the refrigerator for up to one, two days. Yes, you can substitute the quinoa with a couscous or with rice. Of course, if you substitute with couscous, the salad will not be any more gluten-free. You can switch the mozzarella cheese with the feta cheese for a stronger flavor. You can also use a zucchini pesto, and I have the recipe here, or I will leave you the recipe in the link below, for a kind of a more delicate flavor, less intense. They are all good substitutions, so most important think follow your taste and your kids taste i really really hope you enjoy this lovely summer recipe super easy to prepare if you have any comment leave it in the area up here below in the area here below is also where you will find the link to the full ingredients list the full procedure and more details in my blog and most important thing remember to subscribe to Bona Papa. it's totally free and you will receive every single week a new recipe from me. Ciao, ciao, ciao.